Hey everybody, it's Karen Crossan again, and today we're going to do Venn Diagram Shading with Heidi. Hi. Alright, we're going to talk about A's and B's, and we're going to do red apples and blueberries. So Heidi's going to go ahead and shade in the red apples and the blueberries, and then we're going to talk about the various um, unions and complements and intersections that we're going to be doing. All right, we're shaded in, so let's now talk about some set operations. And Heidi has chosen A intersect B. Heidi, what does intersection mean to you in this Venn diagram? So intersection means the common area that A and B shares. Cool, so what color is the common area in this one? It should be purple because A is red and B is blue, but it doesn't really look purple, so I'm going to shade it with purple. Cool. Okay, so here it's all about doing the steps. Heidi's shaded in the red and the blue, and then she's talked about how the intersection is both red and blue, which should be purple, and she made it purple. So now we're going to do the final step of this very simple set operation and draw the final answer with a new Venn diagram. A lot of students stop where you already wrote, but how are we going to make it really clear that you know where the intersection is? The intersection is right here. Okay. So, so let's just go ahead and what are we going to do with that? We're going to shade it with purple again. Okay. So Karen's very picky about where the answer is. So we're going to actually box the answer like this. And we're going to mention that this is the answer. And this is what exactly Karen wants. Alright, so next we're going to do union, and union to me is an inclusive or, but I'm going to have Heidi explain it because she's less mathy than I am, and more Englishy, and people will understand her better. So here's Heidi's explanation. So union is A or B or both. So it means that the union includes red, blue, or purple. All right. So, what what are we going to do to make sure that I can tell you know that it's either red or blue or purple? So we are going to shade with a different color than red, blue, or purple. So I shade it with the green, and this way the Karen would know that you know the answer. The last basic operation we're going to do in this video is complement, which is this little apostrophe thing, kind of like a quotation, not a quote, like Joe's shoes, the apostrophe you put there. It kind of looks like that, but it's called complement. And what it means is not. So what I'm shading right now is A, and this says A not. So I'm going to shade A not next. All right, so for A not or A complement, we want anything that's not red, so everything that's not A is what we're going to shade in. And it's really helpful for a lot of people to make a dark, dark line around. Okay, so Heidi caught me. Originally, I was tracing around here with a red to tell you what wasn't red, but that was really silly. When these get more complicated, it really does help to have an edge around the thing that you're saying you don't want. So I'm big, making a ring around the thing I don't want, and then I'm going to make these rays of sunshine to talk about how people are attracted to their opposites and if this is you and you're in love with somebody that that's their sunshine out here and the two of you together are complete which makes the word complement maybe make sense so complement is what completes you and makes it be the whole universe or at least it feels like it when you're in love that you're the whole universe so there is our A complement everything that is not A we've shaded and how are we going to make sure that that's our answer? So we're going to shade everything in because this line is a little big there. And then we're going to box the answer as we always do so, the Karen, so Karen would know this is the answer. All right, so that's it. That's it for the two circles Venn diagram set of set operation, and we're going to come back with complicated three circles Venn diagram set operations.